Hey guys, it's Vince with Rulonco. Hope your day's going good. Today, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple mistakes that I made in my lawn, in my own lawn. Uh, I didn't dethatch. I ran out of time this year, so I have a couple areas back here where army worms uh, totally just destroyed my lawn. I did overseed those areas, but there was just too much dead thatch. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna dethatch that area. I'm gonna plant some new seed, put some fertilizer down, and hope for the best. Uh, it's the end of September, so. Hopefully we can get a good uh, bit of germination, a good uh, bit of grass growing uh, before f first frost. So we'll see what happens. Let's take a look uh, at the damage. All in through here, you can see some of the spots. The biggest area of damage was in here. I did take a manual dethatch rake and worked it in through here. but it needs a mechanical aeration. You can see some of my 365 SS is trying to germinate, trying to come through. It's a shame that I'm gonna dethatch this because it's expensive seed, but it needs to be done. So I'm gonna focus on this area right in here and a couple passes in through here. This section where the most damage was in here, got that all dethatched. Dethatched that over there even though I didn't really need it. Obviously it did. And then this is the biggest, the hardest hit area. So we pulled all that out. I'll let this dry, I'll mow over it, and then I'll overseed this section. This is what I used, it's a Sunjo dethatcher. These little tines are what collect this material. So uh, I have 15 pounds of Kentucky Blue 365 SS from Mountain View Seeds. Uh, I'm gonna lay it out right now or spread it out right now. Tomorrow I'm gonna run a slit seeder and we're gonna slit seed all this in, fertilize it, and uh, yeah, we should have uh, awesome germination in a couple days. Um, I dethatched this a couple days ago, so we're gonna get the seed down and uh, yeah, feeling optimistic. Army worms are not gonna beat me. Uh, this year, so even though they already they, they pretty much beat me But we're gonna battle back we killed them we're gonna seed and here we go Hey, good morning guys. Back at it again. I have a slit seeder here. I'm gonna run it over top of uh, this area that's been dethatched. Um, I already seeded it, I already fertilized it. I'm gonna run this at a really low setting, just kind of get like a quarter inch, uh, just to scratch the surface to get that seed really good soil seed contact. So, um, rented this, we'll see what happens. Um, Talked to a couple guys here on Instagram and that run businesses and they said that they would uh, recommend doing this. I did not account for it to downpour last night, but if you've been following my renovations, downpours are a thing that is very common. So uh, yeah, hey, we, we just gotta keep on going and, and deal with uh, what, what nature gives us. So let's see what happens.
did the slit seed overseed on my lawn October 4th. So it's been 10 days, it's now October 14th. So I'm gonna show you what uh, the results I have from the slit seeder and um, actually pretty well. So this section was pretty bad. This is 10 days, Kentucky bluegrass. Some spots are better than others. For the most part, it did pretty well. I have a spot in here. You can see the lighter green area. It's coming in nicely. So this is Mountain View Seeds 365SS Kentucky Bluegrass. I have some squirrels that are digging. Some spots just don't want to germinate right now but again it's only been 10 days so we'll keep keep an eye on it see what happens as for the other part of the yard a lot of damage areas it's very tall but it's filling in nicely way overgrown you can see we have some germination down there These little guys again right in here it's good stuff So stay tuned, I'll keep you posted on the results. Um, again, it's only been 10 days, so uh, if you guys haven't already, and you like the content, you like my videos, hit the subscribe button, I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome, and girls, guys and gals are awesome. So hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.